Bookshop Tour, and I'm really sorry for the even worse camera quality, but this is on my iPad, because that's the only mobile camera I have. So, um, let's get started. So, this is my bookshelf, and I kind of can't show you the whole thing, because it's like right next to my bed, right across from it. And the thing with my bookshelf, and the reason why I probably won't be able to show you everything, because I don't know if you can see in there, you see, there's this stack, right, and then there's a stack behind it, and then there's a stack, there, it's like triple and quadruple stacked, so there's like one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six stacks, so I'm not going to go through the trouble of taking all of those out, I'm just going to show you what's on the outside. So we'll go all the way up here, to the top, and back there you can see Broken Dawn, um, the Sweet Far Thing by Lou Bray, and here we can see Born to All Die. Some classics. Let's see this. Sorry for like the really shaky quality. The Eternal Ones by Kristen Miller, Witch of the East End, Harry Potter, Sweet Glass, The Hope Angel. There's Lightbringer and Thief's Covenant, which are both are pretty awesome. Then there's the Host by Stephanie Meyer, which I'm using right here. Chalice, Robin McKinley, the Ink Death by Cornelia Funk. There's the rest of the Cassandra Clare books, Harry Potter, and Nightshade. Over here on the second shelf, we have Shadowland, Alice in the Well, um, Vladimir Todd, Stargazer, Evernight. Vampire Diaries, Eclipse, New Moon, Near Witch, Under the Never Sky, oops, Little Owl Girl, how? <sighs> um, Unearthly, Supernaturally, Hush Hush, and my signed Loki picture, which is awesome. Um, Sam Perfume, my Sam Perps. Next one is Mythology by Edith Hamilton, Hell's Main Castle. My shelves kind of don't have any organization to them. It's kind of just like whatever fits where. So, um, yeah. Blood and Chocolate, To Kill a Mockingbird, To Catch a Pirate. And then here we have, uh, here we have Holly Black, her books, Rachel Kane, the Morganville Vampire series, some North Mare Shakespeare, um, the Vampire Kisses series. The rest of my the paperback Harry Potter, Ink Bell and Cart, the Ugly series, and the Girl in the Steel Corset. Okay. So then down here in this first stack, and I know there's so many more books behind it, and I'm missing a lot, but um My Soul to Steel, Glen Hay uh, Dreaming Wake by Glen Hayes, Of Poseidon, Embrace, which I really didn't like. Tempestuous, So Silver Bright, which was a great book, made me cry, Twilight like Midnight, My Signed Arc of Forever by Ryan Seawater, Shadow Kiss, Personal Demons, which rocks, I have the sequel, I need to read it, Evermore, Far and Under, Blue Bloods, and then here we have Eyes Like Stars, the lighting is really bad down here, I'm sorry, this is like on the floor, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, Angel Fire, the Wake series by Lisa McCann, Swoon, even though it's really dark and you can't really see it, Jessica's Guide to the Orient's Dark Side, Shiver, Paranormal Sea, and, uh, Blue Bloods novel, more Vampire Kisses, Wonder Strange and Dark Light, Sex to Be Me, Wings by Paper Lynn Pike, which I um, didn't really like, Cupcake by Rachel Cohn, Con, Cone, I don't know, The Hunger Games, to dream, Vladimir Todd. Here we go. We have um, something which you just becomes, and we actually kind of have all of the Veronica Blade books right here. Sirens, which is signed as well. Actually, um, let me see. Like all of these, all of these books right here are signed, which is awesome. <sighs> um, Factor of Midnight by Elizabeth Chandler, which kind of sucks. False Covenant, Arnie Marmel, loved it! Seventh Daughter, Deadly Pool, another one that I really love, Deadly Pool. Secret Circle, 
Um, I selected Save by Rachel Vincent, Dawn of the Dreadfuls, which is okay, not that great. Rebel Angels, Pride, Prejudice, and Zombies, that one I loved. And over here, which I suspect Scott Tracy, Wuthering Heights, which uh, I don't understand the hype behind it. Sure, it's a classic, but it wasn't that great. Um, Pretty Little Liars, Last Queen, The Fairy Path, which is kind of a good middle grade series, fairy series, I think. Collected Poems by Emily Dickinson, Goddess Test, which did not like that one, Released, Megan Duncan, which that one's fine, A Great and Terrible Beauty by Lover Bray, Phantom of the Opera, love that book, I'm the biggest Phantom fangirl ever, um, Rachel Vincent book, and Destiny, which is like, it's not upside down, that's actually how it's listed. Um, so those, that's the books, and I'm really sorry, I, I can't show you all the stuff that's behind, but I would have to move, like, all of these books, and that's just a pain in the butt, so I'm really sorry about that. Um, but I will show you, this was my red shelf. That means that all these books, I have read them, um, but I do have a to-be-read shelf, and I will definitely show you guys that, so just ignore... Hi, Jasper! He's sleeping. Little baby. He's sleeping. Just ignore the dirty room and the bed. It's right behind my bed, so that's why. Um, that's a whole stack of books that I plan to read this summer. Let me see. Wildfire, Princess of the Midnight Ball. Some more books there. Here are the Twin Girls. I really want to read this one. These are all my classics, and they're kind of just in like the nook and crannies. This is my leather-bound... Well, first of all, Antoine, Leatherbound, Iliad and Odyssey, and then my Leatherbound um, Complete Works of William Shakespeare, which I, I really want to read this. I've read several of Shakespeare's works already, and I want to... It's like on my bucket list to read everything by Shakespeare, but it, this is literally... Like, look how thick this is. This is thousands of pages. It's like 1,500 pages, I think. So my classics... And then this is also double stacked. If you look, you see in the ah something just fell. That's bunker. I'll get it later. I know I haven't read Catching Fire or Mocking Jay. I'm gonna get to those this summer, hopefully. The Game of Thrones books, which I'm so excited to read because I love the TV series. Iron Witch, Jekyll Loves Hyde, Shade. That's the one that I really want to read. A lot of books there. Some books down here too. There's just a lot of them. Daughter of Smoke and Bone, All These Things I've Done. These are books that I haven't read. Ignore the T-shirt, just because I love the shirt, for sure. And let's see what's here. This is really tall stack. This is paperbacks that I want to get through this summer. Hopefully, maybe. <laughs> um, those are giveaway books in that corner there. Um, Lost Voices, Beautiful Creatures. Nevermore, Glenn Bovine, Misguided Angel, Captivate, Incarnate in the back there. I would take out these books, but it's just such a pain in the butt. I'm sorry. Forbidden. Um, so that's my to be read pile. There's a whole bunch more books back here. Let's see if I can. Thing is, you can't really see them with the terrible lighting. Touch Mortal, Model Land, Lament. And let's just slide these over. Abandoned, Starcrossed, Half Blood, which I really want to read. Half Blood, Haven, Vacations from Hell, and Carry of the Mark. And I've been putting the, reading this one off because I heard it's just like Twilight, and that's not good. So, Incarnate, Fallen, Dark Mirror. That's um, a Pretty Little Liars book, but they are heartless, I think. Scorched Trials, Old Magic, Sword of Fire and Sea. Do -do -do -do, do -do -do. Generation Dead, Liar Society, Maze Runner, an Elizabeth Tanner book, and um, there, some LJ Smith, even though you can't really see it, Glow, The Hollow, Death Cloud, and that is it, actually. So I hope you, I very much hope you enjoyed that bookshelf tour. And it's kind of a bad look at my bookshelves, but um, that's as best as I could do with this crappy little iPad. Well, it's not a crappy little iPad, but yeah. 
so it's just I don't have the luxury of having like really big bookshelves I just have really small ones that I have to pack my books in as much as I possibly can and so I, that means like double and triple and quadruple and there aren't any, even any more words but it means I'm stacking and stacking and stacking and stacking so I have to just like there are yeah there are a lot of books I should have read um, but all of the books that I have read are on Goodreads which I will link you guys down below um, on my red shelf on Goodreads. So um, if you really want to see every book that I've ever read, then they're on there. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. Uh, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.